I forgot to hit record on the camera, but what I did was I boxed this out a little bit, dropped that down. I stopped here because there's a big tree stump here and plus my firewood bin. Stockpiled all the topsoil here and I'm getting ready to haul it out of here. Once I get it out of here, I'll be able to roll my barrel that way and strip the topsoil out from underneath there. As you can see, I'm at the back of the curb height. I'm gonna fill all this in with stone. I made a nice big topsoil berm to help these trees and to divert some of the water. All back here. And then you can see that the barrel's up about eight inches, six inches. I'm gonna cut that down and go all the way across with stone. And this will be a nice little uh, parking area all right, let me load up some of this dirt, get it out of here. I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you 
we're out of room, so I gotta go move the piles I just made. One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day 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 Wake up, today's gonna be a good day, Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. All right, so here's a catch up on the mess I made. That's all dug out about six inches below grade, below the finished elevation, I should say. I bermed that up with a lot of the topsoil. I have a big, huge tree stump right there. Actually, it's over a little bit more. It's underneath this. So what I, now what I have to do... Oh, and I did this side up to here. So now what I have to do is do all of underneath the firewood barrel. And I want to do this backside. So I'm going to do this backside first. And what I'll do is I'll pluck out all these rocks and I'll put them somewhere out of the way. And then I'll scrape down the top so it'll make it look nice. So this has, is full of firewood. This has about one and uh, three quarters of cords of firewood left in it. So what I think I'm going to do is unchalk it here and push it this way with the excavator. And then that should roll down to here somewhere. And hopefully I don't lose too much of the pile. And then that way I can dig out all the soil that's underneath here today. That's, this is the plan for today. They got box out all the topsoil off from underneath there and along that fence line back there. And then that way I can lay my fabric down and I can dump process all in there. And then once I get this area done with the process, I can roll that back and process that side there. That's the plan for today. Let's see how far we get. We got rain coming in, only have about two hours.
hear me, but that actually went way better than planned. getting there one more load right there and that should be good I gotta go dump this one
All right, well, anyways, I'm done for the day. The machine's shut off, the machine's locked up. It's also out of fuel. It was actually out of hydraulic fluid too, so. But now on to the next project for the day. I am going to work on the Corvette with my son. He has been working on the fuel system. Uh, don't forget to check out some of his dark videos on that. We're working on a 1984 Corvette that we found uh, in really rough shape, and we are going through it, cleaning it all up. See, I'll be able to get my jackhammer over there, my buckets, the plow, the snowblower, all that stuff will be out of here, and I can put that off to the side. Try to park, clean this place up a little bit. I'm getting too many toys. Time to start selling some toys. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? All right, so we are on our way to go get some process in the F-350. So uh, I think I'm gonna just do lo the loads myself for that parking area that I'm expanding. I don't think I'm gonna uh, pay the $100 delivery fee. I should be able to get uh, probably a good 10 loads today. We'll see. Something's better than nothing. It's supposed to start raining. So if I can get the first couple loads in, before it rains, then I'm good to go. Cause then I can just uh, back over what I already put in there and I won't have to deal with any mud. So, all right, we're on our way to the quarry right now. All right, just got loaded up with a first load of reclaim. So, should about, got about two tons in there. Let's go drop this off. at the quarry and they take recycled old concrete asphalt and rock and they grind it into what we call millings not millings I'm sorry our reclaim and it's basically concrete asphalt and rock that sends through that crusher over there and it gets repurposed and it packs actually pretty good so it packs better than um, clean process. Clean process is all natural stone. There's no concrete or asphalt in it. But they have a magnet that takes out the metals and it just saves it from going into the landfill. So this is my, one of my local little quarries. So I'm just waiting for the payloader to load me up for load number two. Kind of screwed him. I parked too close to the pile. Next time I got an apple.
that's coming along. All right, so the next goal is to back the truck all the way up into that corner. I'm not worried about putting fabric in that little corner, but my next goal is to get a load right there. And that's to take care of this section. Um, I gotta leave this open because I wanna overlap that fabric because this is where the trailers are gonna be parked, right here, so I want the fabric there. And I gotta do a piece of fabric along here once I dig all that stuff out. So that's why I'm not going that far. But the next load is gonna be back there. And then maybe another load here, a load around the stump. Uh, nope, you know what? I gotta roll that this way before I get a load over there. So we'll see. But we'll do all this section here for the next two loads. number five kind of heavy on this one Take my time roads are kind of rough in here so I take it easy on the suspension this guy here is screening topsoil Cleaning is great right there. Deep cleaning top, screening topsoil, making that stuff right there on my left. And over on the left here are a bunch of boulders that you could buy for rock walls or flower gardens for decorations. Here, let me throw the camera out the window there for you. So I did a couple boulder walls last year and I picked I came here and hand selected a bunch of these boulders. And then up top here, they have their mulch, just as a little side thing, just for convenient for the local contractors to grab it. All right, let me concentrate on driving. This is load number six. That's gonna be the last one for the day. I'll come back uh, once I start, once I get the other area dug out. But yeah, that's pretty crazy. They take the machine over there. That's actually a small one. That actually takes this large asphalt, concrete, etc., and mills it down into anywhere from, you know, that's, about four or five inches around. So, makes it reusable again. And it's cheaper. And it's right down the street from my house. It's only a mile. So, 700 pounds of load. That's what we're aiming for. Because <coughs> it can't be overloaded. Get my coffee. I don't think I'm going to fabric this section underneath the roller. No need. All right. So, let me uh, move this pile and then I will figure out what I'm doing with the firewood bin and then how I'm gonna get the other load on the other side of the firewood bin.
pretty much done for the day. The rain's picking up and all that process is done. I lost a little bit of firewood. So next time I, yeah, not bad. So next time I need firewood in the house, I'll just grab it from the ground here. I left the stump exposed right there. And obviously I left the curb. I'm gonna end up cutting the curb somewhere around here and then continuing this concrete apron across when I do it. I'm just keeping the curb there to keep it contained for now. The next step is move all this stuff. I could park it over there, get it out of the way, and then start digging this out. And like I said, I'm probably gonna dig it out to these double trees right there. And that way I can fit one trailer there, one trailer here, and all my equipment over there. And then that firewood bin will be moved. That'll open up a lot of space for this stuff, get it off the driveway. And I can move my wood over where the trailers are, over there. All right, well, that's it for uh, today. I'm uh, gonna go inside and start doing some inside work. Hey, what's up everybody? All right, I'm gonna attempt to try to finish up this little corner where I'm boxing out. I gotta get rid of my lawnmower and cement mixer that's underneath this tarp. I gotta dig that out and then I gotta start getting some process in there. I'm gonna attempt to get that all done today. Today's a Friday. Uh, it's kind of breezy and kind of cold, so we'll see. We'll see if I can get it done. Running out of time before uh, work season starts. So let's get that area done and then we can start parking some equipment hopefully this weekend up in a new parking area.
one thing you got to worry about when you're doing reclaim is this stuff. This is the stuff you got to watch out for when you're doing reclaim. Well, I'm done for the day. I just jammed everything back here, all the equipment. I've been working on this all day. And no, I did not record everything. But I got this whole side all neatened up and organized. Let me turn around. I still have to do all that area. Um, I have the pipe just thrown here for right now, but that's gonna, I gotta go through all that pipe and throw away the bad stuff and then put the rest of the stuff over here. I just parked the mower back here for now. I figured the enclosed trailer can go right there when it's connected to the truck. The John Deere is back there. All the attachments I got back here, but I didn't, the only ones that are in place where they're staying are the outside edge ones. So these, I'll have one row going along here. This is just thrown here, this is thrown here, this is thrown here, compact is thrown here, the buggy's thrown here. I'm just done for the day. Um, oh, and I moved. The firewood barrel which i'm getting rid of once i empty it over here so that's going to take that's going to give me uh 14 more feet so that's where the john deere or the excavator is going to be parked back here uh i'm going to be selling uh 275 getting rid of the zero turn uh, i'm not sure i might get rid of that vac system i might get rid of that i don't know I have to see if I want to expand my business or not. And then just the spare tires for the concrete buggy at uh, uh, John Deere. And then some three-point hitch John Deere parts over here. So I am going to be getting rid of a bunch of stuff. Like I said, uh, make more room. And this is all garbage here. My jackhammer's still here for now, but I'm just done for the day. It's been a long day out here. But it's all the process is done. It's all compacted. It's definitely going to help out. I got to fix that corner. I hit those pavers when I pulled out that curb right there. So I got to put those pavers back. And that's it for today, at least. Got a truck full of debris going to the recycle plant. And that's it. So I don't know if I'm going to end the video here or continue on, but I think I'm just going to end the video here. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And you'll see this all in my other videos as time goes on. All right. Thanks for watching.